Lowdown and I'm back with another video. Just wanted to give my thoughts really on the news that Nigel Ben will be making a return to the ring. He's coming back after 20 plus years out of the ring. Going up against Sakio Obika at the age of 55, Sakio Obika's 40, but at the age of 55, Nigel Ben, a legend of British boxing, legend of world boxing, not just British boxing, is making a return at the age of 55. Now, what's my thoughts and opinion on it? I gave my thoughts on this in Boxing Talk with Ade's video. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. Um, I am a big fan of Nigel Ben. I don't want to disrespect him in any way. When I was growing up, I used to watch his videos. I used to watch him like with my dad sitting on the chair, watching him go up against the likes of Chris Eubank, that gr tremendous rivalry over here. Him against Steve Collins, him winning the world title, him fighting Gerald McClellan. You know, Nigel Ben is an icon in British boxing. Um, to hear the news that he's coming back at the age of 55 was, you know, quite upsetting for me, if I'm being really honest. Now, I don't want to disrespect the guy in any way. I have tremendous respect for him. Um, but hearing the news just made me think, why does this guy want to come back, man? Um, but I knew the answer. You know, he's a warrior, he's a fighter, and that never leaves you. And um, Nigel Ben, he doesn't need the money. You know, he, he's living pretty well over there in Australia for what I'm hearing. Um, it's just a fire in his belly, you know, it never goes away. His son's currently boxing right now, doing okay for himself, um, looking to get up there in the big fights, maybe against Josh, Josh Kelly. Um, I don't think the fire's left him, you know, I think that he wants to go out there. I don't think there's anything to do with, you know, being jealous of his son. I think that he says he wants closure, but for me, I, I'm not sure. I mean, he's had a great career. He doesn't have anything to prove against anybody. His name has already gone down, you know, in the hearts of the British public, especially. Um, so what does it really mean? Why is he going up against Sakio Bika? If he beats Bika, what's going to happen then? Is he going to carry on fighting or, or, or is this just one last fight? I don't know. But I'll be honest, man. I wasn't really too happy with the news that he's coming back. I think that Nigel Ben could do so much more in terms of being still involved with boxing instead of having to actually go in the ring and take punches. He's got such a tremendous influence on young fans around the world. Um, he could do anything, especially in Australia. I mean, he could make boxing big out there. He could um, he could come over here. He could open up a gym. He could do anything. He could tour around the world, tell his story, anything. He can train his son, whatever. But we don't need to see at the age of 55, this guy going in the ring, taking punches, because it only takes one punch to, to damage you. And I don't care how fit you are. And he is very fit for a 55 year old, but I don't care how fit you are, man. You take a couple punches in the head, especially when you've been out of the ring for so long, it's not gonna be, it's never a good thing. So, um, you know, he was granted the license by, I can't remember the name of the Irish Boxing Association, but they granted him a license. He's gonna be fighting over in Birmingham. It's gonna be on pay-per-view. So are you gonna buy it? The thing is, we're all saying what we're saying about it, but a lot of people are gonna tune in. And if the pay-per-view does well, don't expect it to be his last fight, especially if he wins. So um, listen, I'm not in favor of it, but who am I as a man to say anything to Nigel Ben? especially after everything that he's accomplished. But I'm a bit uneasy about it, if I'm being honest, man. I don't want to see the guy get hurt. And, um, you know, it's a concern at the age of 55. So let me know what you guys think about it, man. Drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Uh, let me know if you are in favour of this comeback. Do you think there should be an age limit on, you know, fighters getting a boxing licence nowadays? Or do you think that it doesn't matter? Um, let me know what you guys think, man. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys on the next one.